All right, guys. Now, if you keep your New Year's resolutions, it will not be long until your dog is 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 sitting and standing and downing when you tell him, getting in this heel position from a variety of of directions, and the progressive jumping is going to give him a good strong core, and he's going to want to look at you, and he's going to understand that work leads to play. So I tell you what, I really like to do is when I get a dog like this, I'll take him to the park. And this dog loves playing with kids. And kids love playing with the dog. And I love letting other people exercise my dog. So it works out perfectly. So I'll go and at first, because you got to be a little sneaky about it, but at first the kids are out playing and carrying on. And I'll get my dog and I'll tell him to stay and I'll find me a little fence. And I'll throw my ball and I'll tell him, Hup, good boy. And I'll make sure to talk real excitedly. Good boy, Floyd. Come on, come on. Hup. And so everybody can hear me. Good boy, heel. And they'll start to kind of start watching from a distance, you know couple more times of this, I know those kids are going to come over and they're going to be like, hey, Mr. Stoney, can I play with that dog? You know what my answer is going to be. Okay, Floyd, hup, good boy, go get that ball, come on back. And so I'm like, kids, y'all watch me close so you can come over here and try this. Good boy, heel. Oh, all the way in the heel position. Good boy. Now you see this dog, he wants to work for me, but I like for my dogs to be civil and, and be nice to everybody they come in contact with. And an easy way to do that is to have the dog think that being nice to people is going to lead to stuff that he likes. Remember, work and play, work to play. Okay. So if he thinks that kids are going to play with him and throw a ball or give him some treats, he's going to be real nice to kids. He's going to have real good manners. He's not going to want to upset them. Now here's what I really like about that situation is I pawn off a ton of exercise on the kids up at the park so I don't have to do all the exercise with my dog uh, by myself so it's a win 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 situation it spreads good karma everybody's happy you the dog the kids the parents everybody it's great and all that has to happen is your dog has to do a few things and do them real well like Hup, go get that ball and grab it and come back reliably with good manners Hup, good boy and come into this heel position all right and wait patiently because this is what it takes to you know for kids to really want to play with them and next thing you know the kids are throwing the ball 500 yards and your dog's running and by the time you get back to your car dog's so tired he goes to sleep because listen in dog training in regards to what they tell you the most important rule is that a tired dog is a good dog so you get your dog he's minding good boy sit and that right there allows you to take him places heel that allows you to take him places and do things with him that makes him tired, which makes him a good house dog. Good boy. All right, so we'll see y'all next week.